Hey guys, this is just a little video on uh, integration and it's going to, going to be here, uh, seeing how they are for the first time. It's a bit, I kind of put it into a box of, oh yeah, he's a mindfulness teacher, so he's you know, pretty relaxed. And then yes. over the years, it's you kind of see, oh well, you know, it's, you know, to be a mindfulness teacher or to live in this way, uh, you'd have to have sort of other things going on. And just an example of yesterday, just brought by my chance, and I was like, well, he's it's on a different different way to everybody you know, you know he's kind of sort of explaining it was like dishes smashing and he was able to walk away with a bit of coolness and not a detachment but uh, it was like oh he's been through he's been through hell like he's coped with this there's so much going on and then you know I'm like okay he's that type of man and then as I'm leaving I'm like I just know that tempted to put my money to put it into a box and I leave the I left the restaurant and someone goes by and it a big dirt and I was like, oh, it was like the vibration. I was like, oh, that's kind of dark too. And I'm just like, I suppose what I'm trying to explain is it's almost a bit like he's kind of purified these parts of his being, maybe the, the part that enjoys like, I don't know, on a motorbike down uh, down the street without a helmet and then also the, the reading, but also then the, the ability to stand the heat. So that's what this is. It's just a little, uh, my way of kind of explaining what, what it kind of feels like to be around and who uh, yeah, really work on themselves so much that they seem to have integrated all these different parts to us. Oh, what a surprise. Yanadara appears before my eyes. <gasps> Here he is. He's popping over to say hello. Oh, <gasps> but there the glasses go. Crash, bang. And everyone's looking amazed. Yet yeah, Yanadara just doesn't look phased. And I'm suddenly grasping. Uh oh, my image of himself as this quiet priest. It's simply not true. From what he can withstand, it looks like hell he's been through. <gasps> and now he's coming over. So the man, the leader who can handle the heat in the kitchen. Oh, hey, David. What are you up to? <gasps> oh, I'm still in shock. Uh, yeah. How's that book you're reading? I, I'm feeling the clock. My mind is scrabbling to put him in a box, but I can't. And as usual, we have a lovely chat. And over there, as I'm going to leave, I can't help but try and box the magic in his sleeve. Oh, yeah. There he is. Enjoying his tea. That makes sense, my image of him. And then as I head out onto the street, it's another headache that I meet. Vroom! Someone flies down the street on a dirt bike. And it's Yanadara in the air. And wait, what? It doesn't make sense. But again, my mind wants to put it in a box, but my experience doesn't lie. This is one hell of a guy. He seems to have connected to all these energies within himself. Is this what the Buddha means with integration on the shelf? Oof, if this is it, my mind, it's always in a doing spins. So I guess I've got to take time to take all of this man in. <sighs>